Allier. Because of his considerable value as a stallion, Shergar was kept in a special secure box in the stud farm central block. Shergar was driven away in a horse box the thieves had brought with them. There stepped down from the plain a figure in mourning, Elizabeth II, queen of this realm and of all her other realms and territories, head of the Commonwealth, defender of the faith. You're watching The Briefing, our headlines. Israeli police say Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu should be charged with corruption. He insists all allegations are baseless. The Dutch foreign minister resigned after admitting he lied about a meeting with Russia's President Putin. A group of 15 Latin American nations have criticised Venezuela's president, Nicolas Maduro, for his decision to call a presidential election. Foreign ministers of the Lima group, which includes Canada, have released a statement saying as long as there are political prisoners in Venezuela, elections cannot be free nor fair. Katie Silver reports. In Venezuela's capital, Caracas, hundreds queue outside the Peruvian embassy, seeking an escape from a crippling economic crisis. With food unable to get in, they are desperately trying to get out. Critical shortages have seen a number of mass anti-government protests in recent years, some of which have turned violent. President Nicolas Maduro has promised fresh elections by the end of April, telling supporters that he is ready to seek another six-year term. On Tuesday, Foreign ministers of 14 Latin American countries, as well as Canada, met in Peru's capital, Lima, looking to decide whether these elections can be deemed democratic. The elections that President Maduro's government unilaterally